Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom, and today I'm back at the Mansfield Drive-In Flea Market for opening day 2024. The last outdoor flea market I was at was the Redwood Country Flea Market in late December 2023, so I've been waiting for this for a very long time. So now, without further ado, let's see what they have. This video was filmed last Sunday on March 24th, and it was about, I think, 29 degrees Fahrenheit at the time, and it was windy, so it was literally freezing outside. And as a result, I would say roughly half the number of vendors showed up as normal. So I think uh, if I come back later in the spring or in the fall, this place will be much busier than it is in this video. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. I've got a lot more flea market videos coming up. Thanks. Here's some Campbell soup mugs. They have them at $2 each or three for $5. And I think these are from the late 80s. I think that's what it says on the bottom. I think it said 88. I don't really collect mugs like that, but that seems like a pretty good price, I think. I usually buy something from this vendor pretty much every time I come to the show. This time, though, as you can probably see, she barely has any of her stuff out. But luckily, I was still able to find a few things that I wanted to buy. a whole bunch of old toys that I would say are mainly from the 70s and 80s, but some of them might be a little bit older. This Willow Rebel Trooper figure from 1988 caught my eye. It's by Tonka, and this is based on the movie, of course, which they did a television series on it recently, which I never saw. Um, but those figures alone tend to go for probably 5 or $10 in that condition, I would guess. Now, I think these are older than the 70s. I would guess these are from the 50s or 60s, just based on the design of the TV. They're basically like little viewmasters, except you can't change the slide. It's just one, basically one group of photos. And one of them was on Puerto Rico, and the other one was New York. One of them actually turned out to be broken, which I didn't realize at the time, but I still think they're pretty cool. Hi, excuse me. Are these yours over here? These guys right here. Oh, okay. Hey. <laughs> oh, didn't even see them. Hi. How much are the uh, little TVs? Five bucks for the... Five bucks for both of them? Yep. Together? Yep. All right, I'll do that. Um, and how much is this, this Willow? That one's... I'll tell you what, if you want the whole box on, you can have the whole box on for 20 bucks. That's all 70 stuff in there. Hmm. That's a decent piece. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's in our 70s, but that's a war hammer. It's all there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, looks like it. Yep, that's all 70s stuff. All right, well, yeah, I'm actually just interested in these two. So, what would you do for the two of Eight these? Eight bucks for a pair of them. Eight bucks? Yep. All right, I'll do that. Okay. Oh, really? Can't feel my fingers, but hopefully I, I can know, get the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> get my money up. If you're out there walking around, yeah. it's not too bad, but I'll tell you. My God. If you're just standing around. <laughs> Yeah, it's brutal. It's brutal. <laughs> when we came in, it was only 24 here. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay. Normally, I would try to negotiate those prices, but that price was so good, I just, I just accepted it. Works for me. This guy's here pretty much every time, and he's got some really interesting stuff. KB toys. Oh wow. Here's some Dudley Do Right plushes from 2000. These were sold at CVS. Looks like originally for $5.99. And they seem to go for about that today, maybe a little bit more. I thought this great white shark toy was pretty cool, mainly because it looks like the shark from Jaws, which of course is a great white. I have no idea how old it is though. And I don't know if it's just a generic shark toy or if it is actually based on the movie Jaws. So if anybody knows what that's from or how old it is, let me know in the comments. And spoiler alert, I might have come back later in the show and bought it. It might be in my living room right now. But you'll have to tune into part two to find out. I think it's a frog uh, sprinkler. Oh, maybe. Yes, I think so. Oh, a frog bank. 
It's one of those mechanical oh. <coughs> mechanical banks where it like throws the coin into his mouth. Right, right. That's cool. Oh, Einstein's brain. Either that or it's a piece of coral, one or the other. And I guess he didn't sell the dead mouse or dead rat from the last show. Hopefully it's a fresh dead mouse and dead rat this time. Hold on. Oh, sure. <clears throat> I don't know, I don't think that's a photograph. DVD? <laughs> no. Huh. Maybe a photograph of a painting. Mm -hmm. He's got a baby burps a lot doll. I actually didn't see that when I was there. Totally missed it. It's gotta be from like the forties or fifties. With that oh, looks like a bathing uh, yeah, lady in yeah. a bathing suit. Yeah, it is. Looks fifties to me. I'm starting to build a small 8mm film collection, and this one's from the 60s. It's a W.C. Fields film called A Laugh Riot, and they seem to sell for about $10 to $15 online from what I've seen, if you're including shipping, which I do because that's, you know, part of the price you pay for it in total, of course. Some people actually left comments that I shouldn't be quoting the shipping costs when I quote what something goes for online, but I figure if you're paying for it, you know, to get the item, then that should count towards what it goes for. Thank you, sir. I'll probably throw you some more money over the place. Certainly over the year, but no, not about today. Oh, nope. I don't want to know. <laughs> nope. Secondly, because they don't fit. Excuse me. How much is this little uh, uh, film? Three dollars. Three dollars? Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, Can't argue with that. Good deal. Another set here too. Newer Carrera though. And how much did you say? How much the airplanes are? Did you twenty on this one? I don't know. And then what do we see? Say if they're three to five uh, bucks, it'd be fine. Yeah, Should ask. Probably um, probably that guy. You know if it worked, Maybe. I don't know. Is this your booth? Yes. Oh, okay. How much are the uh, airplanes? I can do like, um, you want, you, if you buy three of them, I'll, I'll, you can have all three for ten. Three for ten? That oh, sounds like a good okay. deal. Yeah, I'll take this. I do 35 on the Normally I do five a piece, but yeah. I buy all three. Oh, yeah, no, sounds good. Thanks. Thank you. And that's a deal because they, they used to cost even that much back then. Yeah, there you go. And my fingers are absolutely frozen. Yeah. I thought that wasn't a bad deal, and they actually weren't for me, they were for Never my heard nephew. That one before. No. It's G.I. Joe. Is it? You know what? That's a real collectible piece, but we're just packing up. If you want, you can have it for $5. That's a $10, $10 $12 piece all day hmm. long. It's 
definitely not G.I. Joe. I think it's just a generic helicopter from the 70s, okay. but it's still yeah, kind of cool. Yeah, I'll pass. Thanks. It's good, good price, but thanks. Here's an Inspector Gadget Happy Meal toy. Probably from the 90s, I think. Hey, how are you? Cold. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, it's not good. It's the wind. Yeah, it's not helping at all. 20 on the phone. You know, it needs... Oh, yeah. It needs a shot of WD-40. Yep. But, this is a monophone uh, branded rotary phone. I'm guessing from the 60s. If I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments. He was asking 20 bucks for it, which sounds not too bad, but it wasn't in the best condition. Hey, how much on the frog painting? Uh, I was been asking fifteen, but I would do twelve. Twelve. <coughs> cute. I tried looking up that seal on the back. It's some kind yeah, of Yeah, I don't know what that is. Max. But that artist on the front, they do uh -huh. a lot of prints with the, like the gnomes. But that's the only one I think there is with frogs. Yeah. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. As most of you probably know, I'm really into character glasses. And one of the things that this show was missing, for the most part, was character glasses, which was very unusual. Normally, they're everywhere. And this time, there was pretty much nothing. I, I was hoping these were character glasses, but they're not. This is a little Smurfs figure, probably from the early 80s. And then next to it is a little Cabbage Patch Kid figure, which I've never seen one like that before. Also, almost certainly from the early to mid-80s. Hey, okay, how much on these? I, I do $5 for both. Five for both? Yeah, I'll do that, sure. I had a couple other Smurfs, but they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> and again, I could have negotiated, yeah, but I was in a pretty there generous you. mood. Thank you. Thank you. And it still sounded like a pretty good price to me, so... That one's definitely old. Yes. It's glass. Yeah. Yeah, it's glass. And it's got the key. A lot of them don't have the key. I can see a name on it, though. I keep thinking this glass is going to go over the side. Yeah, everybody's packing up. we got to move fast. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, how much is the uh, gumball machine? 75. 75? Do you know what year it's from? It looks pretty old. I can't tell though. Uh, I would say 30s or 40s. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Okay. You might hear me popping some cough drops during this video, and that's because I'm still recovering from that cold I got about a month ago when I went on my road trip to New Jersey. It's crazy. I've never had a cold last this long. Oh, look at this Connecticut Turnpike. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. Looks like 95. Oh, Going yes. down by the shore. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Is 
this his or his? I don't know. Who it's it's two fifty. Two fifty. Oh, okay. Thanks. It's cool. I don't know. Is ninety five called the Connecticut Turnpike? I, I didn't know. think so. I don't know. That's kind of neat. Murray. Oh, instead of a hot rod, it's a tot rod. Hot rod. Yeah. Hundred okay. bucks on that. Zippy the chimp. Okay. Yeah, I think that says 53. It's in Roman numerals. Mm -hmm. Somebody drew it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm selling, sell, selling the whole thing for 12 bucks. Oh, okay. The whole, the whole thing. Okay. Well, let me just see what else is in here. Yeah. Yeah, Do you have any other jewelry? No. Uh, just, just, just. Can I take a look at it? Yeah. I've always got to know what's in the box. Yeah, I think that's a little traveling uh, jewelry case. Oh, okay. Oh, I, guess I zipped it instead of unzipping. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Not something I'm interested in, but you never know until you open it up. And another Smurfs figure from the early 80s. This one's a little bit dirty, but, you know, it's nothing a little bit of soap and water won't clean up. How much is the little Smurf? Oh, okay. Uh, probably three. Three bucks. Three? Yeah. Would yeah. you do two? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay. Sounds good. Since it's so ungodly cold. Uh, yes. <laughs> Otherwise, why do you think I have? Here's something I don't see too often. This is a game called Slime World. It's for the Atari Lynx handheld console from the late 80s. That was the goal all along. It was near just to get surprise. Hey, how much on the Lynx game? On the Lynx game, uh, what do you think seems fair for it? I, haven't I don't know. I, I haven't much, either. So. Yeah. So it's kind of one of those things where for for something like that for me, honestly, if you're into it, I would do like 10 bucks and then we play the internet game of do you take the $10 yeah. or do we find out what it's worth? Yeah. Five. I can do 10 for him, right? So we can do flat out like 10 and 10 for the figures. I want to pass that figure actually. All right. We'll we can figure, we can look Your and figure out on this. I'll do 10 on it. Sure. Thanks a lot. How much is it actually worth? Uh, well, I only found ones with manuals. Like, if yeah, it has with, the manual and everything, it's like 40. Okay, so I figure yeah, lose 10. 10. for just the thing, that's Yeah, works for me. Enough, Thanks. Enough. Yeah, have a good one. You too. Is this a telephone cover? No, it actually is. <laughs> it looks like it would fit like over an old ro rotary it's, phone. Yeah, it's actually for um, a cheese dish. Oh. There should be a bottom part, but. So it almost um, looks like the cord for the I telephone will go out the back. It makes this iron Weird. stone. It might be um, iron stone. Huh, okay. Yeah, never seen it. It is one. iron stone, yeah. But I don't have the bottom part. Okay. But I thought, it's still kind of cool. Yeah, you know? I've never seen one before. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I'm really curious to see if that actually would fit over a rotary phone because visually it looks almost identical in size. Buy a plush throw and put her on your shoulders. Yeah. Oh, 64 World's Fair. Oh. 
I wonder how much they off of that. I got a little collection going on. I don't know. I don't know. Here. Don't see anybody. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know. We, we were how much is the World's Fair plate, mini $3. plate? Three dollars? Oh, yeah, that's a that. good deal. You want to get that? Yeah. Got a little collection of World's Fair things going on. Oh my God, my fingers are frozen. That's yeah, pretty cool. It is. Had an inverted monorail. Monorail hanging from a track, apparently. There you go. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, Tab. Remember Tab? Oh, yeah. Had saccharin. I say, I don't think it tasted good. No, I tried it once. But yeah, we weren't allowed to drink it because it had saccharin and it caused cancer. Yes. Allegedly. Oh. Doesn't seem like the best idea for a bell to be made out of glass. <laughs> I have careful. a lot of bells. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Got humble. Ooh, that sun actually feels good without the uh, yeah. wind. Any gloves? What's that? Any gloves? I wish. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I should have. Can't feel my hands. I know. I can't feel my toes. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Thanks. Have a great day. You too. See this helmet. Can I go I thought this was pretty cool. This is a Matchbox Super Kings number K149 from 1988. It's a uh, Ferrari Testarossa. Don't think I've ever seen this one before. I've just seen the regular size car. I'm trying to see a year on it. 88. <clears throat> Ferrari Testarossa, that's what they had in Miami Vice. Uh, oh my God. Is this yours? Yes, sir. How much on the. Uh, Matchbox, the test server. Five bucks? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'll do five bucks on that. They actually seem to go for about 20 to 25 online. <clears throat> oh, wow. It's old Matchbox. Speed, Speed King? Or? Oh, yeah, Adventure 2000 Flight Hunter. Yeah, never heard of that one. How much are you asking on that? Same five? Get rid of it. It's weird looking. It is. Probably seventies. Yeah, seventy seven looks like. All right, thanks. I know you've all been waiting for it, but I have to say it. I should have bought it. They do seem to sell for about fifteen dollars loose like that. <laughs> this is something I've definitely never seen before. This is the Illustrated London News from 1883.
I might have, but I don't didn't remember no. that I knew. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 It's hard to find them in that condition. But yeah, I've never seen them. More beat up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, they're they're great. And the in, the interiors are about as good as you can get them. Yep. Yeah. Remember these guys? Yeah, the thing I, I kind of like. The, Bartles and James yeah, guys. That lights oh, up. Yeah. Oh, does it? Yeah, it's it, it it doesn't. Oh yeah. It doesn't have dramatics, but it does light. Yeah. Wow. I, what are you asking on that? That one forty. Okay. So you say 140 or 40? No, 40. 40. Oh, okay. Well, 140 is okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you if you feel generous. Yeah. You know, why not? <laughs> it's opening day. So. Cool. Yeah, it's neat. That's a cool bar piece. Yeah. It's older. You see the, the back. Well, James. Yeah. yeah sometime yeah, in the it's, 80s, it's I would guess. It's a Masonite back on it. Yeah. But it, it lights up the way it's supposed to. Cool. They don't talk to you or anything. Which is a big He's got some Anco ice scrapers in here for I think five dollars. And I remember those from the eighties. My grandfather used to get those for free at the uh, I don't think it was Anco, but it was another gas station. Might have been Amico or something like that, but he had a whole bunch of those ice scrapers. Probably still works. Dollar on the soap. Hmm. <laughs> so does anybody out there know if 70-year-old soap would still work, or do you think it's gone rancid? I would assume it's got a pretty high fat content, so I could see it going bad. But I was almost uh, tempted to buy it just to test it out, but then I would feel bad opening the package. Calm down. I know this isn't from Radio Shack, but it looks very much like something you would have found at Radio Shack. It's a super speed Porsche 917 remote control car. I think it's probably from the 70s. It's kind of neat. They um, they seem to sell for about $30 or so, roughly. Very cool. All right, well, there you have it. That's the end of part one of opening day at the Mansfield Drive-In Flea Market. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. I've got a lot more flea market videos coming up. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.